about a quarter to seven in the morning and I'm headed over to one of our farms. It's about 10 miles that way, something like that. And uh, once I get that done, I may be about done as uh, planting corn for this year is coming to an end. It doesn't take very long with two 16 row planters and two 50 foot field cultivators. After this, we'll be spraying the bean ground or what's going to be beans and then we'll be planting beans. Rather cool out this morning. It's supposed to get kind of windy. We'll come up here around this corner and we'll go across the river. Go down this hill and then to the left and the river will appear. And here we come up on the river. When I was a kid, that was a car. When I was a kid, had some friends, my cousin and some friends had three-wheelers and we'd come down here, right to the right at the end of this bridge. We'd go back down in, way back in there and we'd go camping. Good times. In one of my other videos from last fall, I mentioned that right up here where this gravel road is, right up there, take that about two miles to the south. And years ago, Bigfoot was spotted back in there. And here comes another car, I gotta pull over. Way back in there, made for quite the story for a little while. They came out and took uh, plaster footprints and things like that. And uh, some people thought somebody was playing a joke on this guy, but I don't, I don't think so. What it was, who really knows? So we'll get over here to this farm and I'll record some more. Get this thing unfolded. I guess I could turn my warning lights off. This little switch here is the one that unfolds and folds the uh, fuel cultivator. Take the pressure off the lines doing that. And then you put it in what's called float. You push that forward and it locks down. And that little squiggly line right there tells you that it's in float, which means the wings can move with the ground instead of being, instead of all of this being rigid the wings can float up and down in the center and everything can pivot around and follow the ground a little better. But I have to get going, I have to go around these fences which I'm not gonna record doing that, you gotta kinda pay attention. Or you end up getting in the fence and then you have a mess. Never happened to me before. So I got my angle started, now I have to do this corner out. Fill this corner out and that gives the planter a place to start. So I'll get this all filled out and then I'll hop over to the other side and start working that way. Get a little better view of what I'm talking about with the, the corner here, angle. Won't take very long to fill that in because the farther I go that way, the shorter it gets and then we'll get the rest of the field done. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day today. It's supposed to be fairly warm, I think. It sounds like a chance of rain every day for the rest of the week, and it's supposed to be cold. In fact, I saw a chance of snow Thursday morning before 7 a.m. We don't need snow. For whatever reason in this fuel, it is pulling very easy. I even put the fuel cultivator a little bit deeper in the ground. It's just pulling really good this morning. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the planter is 
right over there. He just came out in the field. definitely making some progress not a whole lot left and I'll have this knocked out the planter making his way across the field you can see him I can't even see it in my on my screen I probably could go and make that clock spring video later on today but I'm thinking that might be Friday or Saturday Right up here is a spot that last fall was really wet and the beans didn't get combined. I didn't get it recorded either. I had to go over this, I don't know, probably three or four times because there were still beans from last fall standing there and they didn't like to go through the fuel cultivator and start balling up and that kind of thing. So I had to run over it three or four times to get them kind of spread out, chopped up, that kind of thing. Just about done with this field. The edge of it is right there. Not much longer and I will be done. Our other field cultivators in another field, I don't know if they need some help finishing that up or I may be done. Got my corner finished up here. I skipped over down here so I could go down to that end of the field without running on ground that I've already gone over. With the auto steer, you can just skip over one pass and now it's steering itself right down between here. Matching up over there. And over there. Drives itself straight as an arrow and it's pretty accurate. Pretty accurate really down to an inch or less. And this field is done. And that is that. And now we're heading back the other way, be crossing the river up here shortly. This is one bumpy road. And here we come up on the river again. Have a nice area down in here. Well, I'm now on my way the other direction. I'm going to help our other fuel cultivator finish off a field. They've got it about a third done. So if I go join forces, it won't take very long. Well, we've got the other fuel cultivator here and a planter over there. And 
I just need to finish out this corner. So this is not going to take very long. We got done planting corn yesterday except for maybe 100 acres or 120 acres something like that this morning i'm changing oil in the wife's car again and then i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i might wash my truck this afternoon kind of a short video but give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you next time bye bye